Hey there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a task in Microsoft To Do and Tasks by Planner and To Do from a message in Microsoft Teams. So to do this, we are going to use Microsoft Power Automate to create a flow. And to get started, you want to click on Microsoft Power Automate in Microsoft Teams, or you could also do this from flow.microsoft.com, the actual Power Automate dashboard. Uh, from here, you wanna go ahead and click on New Flow. And then you want to click on Create from Blank. Next, you'll want to either search for or click on Microsoft Teams. And the trigger for this flow is going to be for a selected message. So you want to click this. Next, you want to go ahead and click on New Step. Uh, we're not going to be looking at creating or modifying adaptive cards in this tutorial. We're going to keep it simple. So click on New Step. And then you want to look for to do. And what we are going to do is select the add a to do V3 action. This is going to bring up the add a to do card. And so we'll want to go ahead and fill out the details here. So the first thing we want to do is select the task list that this task should be added to. And so if you haven't already signed into your to do, you'll want to do that. Um, in this case, I have. So I'm going to click on the little drop down here that says show options. And this is going to show me a list of um, my task lists that exist in the to do app. And right now there's just one list called tasks. I'm going to click on that. Then you want to go ahead and enter a title for the actual task. And so we're going to just call this task created from Teams message. So we're going to keep this as static content. Okay. Um, you can fill out any of these other optional fields on the task record. So due date, uh, reminder, date and time, importance, etc. I'm going to leave all of these blank for now. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add in some dynamic content um, into the body of the task. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to um, type in follow up on this message. Okay. Um, and next I'm going to come over into my dynamic content pane, and this is going to allow me to select some data from the actual message and I'm going to select message content. So this is going to pipe in the actual content of that message that we click on. Okay. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to type in sent by and I'm going to again come over into my dynamic content pane and I'm going to select the sender user display name. This way I can see who sent this message. And then last, I'm going to put in link to message in case I want to actually go back to the message from my task. Um, and I'm, again, I'm going to come over into the dynamic content and click on link to message. Okay. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to give this flow a name and this is important um, as we'll see this show up in our more actions button so i'm going to say create uh, to do task and that's the name of this flow and now i'm going to go ahead and click on save so you can see here that the created to do task flow is showing up in our power automate landing page so the next thing you want to do to test this is click on your teams icon and you want to go ahead and select the message that you want to create a task from. So in this case, I'm going to hover over hello accounts payable, t hello accounts payable team, please review this report. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the three dots here, the more options button. And I'm gonna scroll down to the more actions button. And you can see here, create a to-do task. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And you can see here that this flow uh, runs successfully started. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to pull up my Microsoft to do app and you can see here task created from teams message. And if I click on this, you can see here the dynamic content. So there is the message. Hello, con hello accounts payable team. Please review this report sent by and then the link to the message. Um, and then again, 
these tasks will also show up in your tasks by planner and to do app uh, given that that is integrated with um, the Microsoft to do application. So this was just a quick tutorial showing you how to create a task from a message in Teams using a Microsoft Power Automate flow. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please like it. Please add a comment below and please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Power Automate tutorials. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.